Welcome back to News Watch, everyone. Overnight, we will have lots of cloud cover, but tomorrow is a changeable day for us. We start out in the upper 20s, so anything that was wet could potentially be a little bit slippery. This is mainly alleys and parking lots, and it'll be pretty far and few between. After a good deal of sunshine in the morning, we do cloud it up, and we get a brief burst of snow after about 7.30 in the evening. Now, here's the temperatures right now. We're generally in the low 30s. Temperatures will drop off a few degrees from where they are right now. We do have a couple of snow flurries that continue in Nicholas County into Fayette County into the west where temperatures are warmer along I-79. Just a couple of sprinkles. No additional snowfall accumulation expected. This activity will end by 10 o'clock with the first storm. Second storm system, this low pressure across the upper Mississippi Valley is moving south and east, a bit of rain and snow with it. And as it moves into our region, the timing of that storm will be tomorrow evening. Now on the water vapor imagery, here's the second storm. It's following the path of the polar jet stream and that will dig south. After that, we have the sprawling ridge developing across the west that is going to move east and bring us a gorgeous midweek. In the meantime, on Tuesday, we will start out with rain that will change to snow between 7 and 10 p.m. So that's our crucial time. The secondary roads will turn a little bit slippery north of I-64. That snow tapers to flurries at midnight. So how much snow are we talking about? Well, in the grand scheme of things, not very much. About a half of an inch of snow, Beckley, Fayetteville, Oak, Oak Hill, and Summersville, about half of an inch. Once into the far western part of the area, very little to no snowfall accumulation, a coating on the grass along the Greenbrier Valley, and for those of you who live on Sole Mountain, Sandstone Mountain, the western Greenbrier Valley, western Pocahontas County, you will pick up about two to three inches of snow. Again, it'll come fast and furious on Tuesday evening as the system moves south and east. Now check out the temperature, 70 in Oklahoma City, we're in the 50s and 60s in the Rockies. So there's really no cold air during the middle part of the week. Storm number two rolls through, high pressure during the middle part of the week, and our temperatures respond nicely for the first time. It's going to be a dry weekend around here. Can you believe it? Look at that. Everyone's clapping for the first time. I can't, you know, the last time I think we actually had a dry weekend was before football season. <laughs> Seven day forecast, rain and snow Tuesday evening. 39 degrees on Wednesday, gorgeous weather through the weekend, and then we turn our attention to Monday. We got to have a little bit of a rain and snow mix and temperatures in the upper 30s. I am ecstatic about the weekend because we've had our fair share of cold weather, mm -hmm. snow or rain or flooding, etc. So we finally get a nice break and we deserve a break. It's been a very wet winter so far in wet January and snowy January. I know, I'm just, it's not as warm as I'd want it to be, of course, but I mean, beggars can't be choosers. I am happy that it's just finally gonna be a dry weekend, right?